we are going to do what we do best, and it is browse the deep web. So yeah, we are going to check out a few links here and there. So yeah, there's uh there's definitely still a lot of uh links to look in through. What else are we gonna get ourselves into? We're here at Clone Credit Cards with PIN Codes, Trusted Vendor. So new website, please check for prices and more info. Hi there, I'm selling clone credit cards with PIN codes, ready for using at ATM. The cards are mostly Visa and MasterCard, so they work worldwide. <laughs> so we're looking here, so looky here. We have a device that's made for cloning credit cards, and I'm assuming it comes with its drivers, disk, disk drivers, this uh, scanning device here, and its power, power source. And all these empty credit cards. Man, imagine trying to, trying to create a, a prepaid card where you get to trick somebody into thinking, oh, it's their card. But in reality, the money from that card is being sent to the other, to the other third party without their consent. And the next thing you know, counterfeit uh, cards. But man, look at this. I'm also selling a card rider kit with all the necessary equipment you need to start making your own cards and rewritable cards, manuals and software for Windows and Mac. Okay, okay, quick disclaimer. This is illegal. This This is this is going to get you in deep deep trouble, you know. That's just uh, just getting that out of the way. Super quick PSA. So yeah, sometimes it makes me wonder how do we get a hold of these devices? There are there are a few things I can think of. One, somebody who works with building these or manufacturing these card swipers probably got some insider information but they also but they're not getting paid well enough and they decided to make this their side gig which 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 what other a way to sell your illegal uh activities or or products than places like this on the deep web hey this is how that how criminal activity uh, tends to happen, and how they keep the criminal economy going. So yeah, yeah, that's that's usually how this goes. So that being said, we're gonna move on to the next website and go somewhere else. Proton Mail. Yes, there's even an onion version of this website. If you don't know what Proton Mail, Proton Mail is basically a an email client, an email service, mostly aimed towards uh towards privacy and security. So if you want to be able to send your your messages, but you don't want no one else to know about it, then yeah, there's there's something like this which could work. I mean, why would you need something like this for? For very, very obvious reasons. It's basically a secure email base in Switzerland. Which if you which in case you don't know, Switzerland had some very, very strict internet privacy laws. And something like this is perfect to host a a mail ser an email service to prevent, you know, third parties or other other government entities to start start uh gag orders to to uh withdraw your private emails and since it's based in another country they can't just go over there and hand them their private emails hey that's a detail i didn't know their actual they this actually came from cern huh that's really interesting i can't i that's okay i even I'm starting to learn learn something new here. Proton Mail originated from CERN. 
And of course, if you don't know what CERN is, it's basically a, a huge hydron collider. Where it's there. Okay, let's put it this way. It's basically the real life Black Mesa. I know, right? It's uh, there's that's that's a, that exists. But anyways, uh, it looks like uh, we're done looking here. So, so yeah, there you have it, Proton Mail. If you guys uh, wanna wanna pr uh, wanna email service that's private and and you don't want nobody looking through it, especially if you're from a from a place that spies on you. Then you might want to take a look at this. So that being said, we're gonna move on to something else and see what else we come up with. Who would have thought that you'd come across the pirate bay on the deep web? If, in case you guys don't know what this website is, this is the very site that you go to if you want to download some programs or let's say you want to download your uh, some video editing software but you don't want to pay 50 bucks or or two hundred dollars for that particular software and of course this is something that that has been around for quite a while there's a good chance that if you've been around the mid 2000s or so chances are the one of the ways that you can get a hold of certain programs would be something like the pirate bay which again i'm not condone condoning piracy but sometimes if you're looking for a certain certain piece of media or a certain game or or program that's a little too obscured but you do not have a hold of the of the serial or this or this particular piece of content is so is lost at or is inaccessible then this is usually a place where you would go to to get a hold of such thing but you know there a link something loaded but it, it isn't exactly what I was hoping to hoping that it loads but it's something okay it take so it takes me into a blog because for some reason these other links are broken down here so so the only thing that actually works is this called Super Bay, the Pirate Bay Forums. I, I'm guessing this is a this is a part where they Hey. Hey what are, what are you doing here? Anyways. I'm gonna check out the game section. Let's see what they have to say about this. If you wanna do that. Alright, I guess I'll I, I, I mean there's like a bunch of forums here so I'm just gonna have to click on the ones that would interest me the most we'll try this Do you need Microsoft Store so hello world for Windows 10 pirated games do you need to have the Windows Store or whatever it's called installed for them to work I'd rather not have it on my system yeah you wouldn't want it in your system. But then what's the point of having the Windows Store then? Ugh, it makes me wonder. Same with me. Always delete all modern apps including Windows Store. When reinstalling Windows, I even made a special post for it. Huh. But, because I don't play games too often, the reason I delete Windows Store is that I want to be far from telemetry and I still prefer the look of the traditional desktop application yep some people just prefer the old look over the new win the new uh, Metro look that Windows seems to be pushing there shouldn't be not much else to look into so we'll just uh, go from here in other words uh, we'll just move on to the next Part website and go from there. The OCCRP Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project. Oh man, we got one of these where they, where someone on the deep web is reporting on uh, on corruption from world leaders or other shady criminals. This is more like a like a news source found on the deep web here. So, and if you're wondering why something like this would be on the deep web. Uh, let's not forget there are some very, very authoritarian countries where 
where you could you could go to jail if you dare try to expose this crap. Let's see what's going on. Alright. We got all sorts of things going on here. This website has search, investigative dashboard, uh, visualization tools, so persona de interest. So I guess we'll uh, start by going to the visualization tools. See what that's about. Visualization tool for investigators. See how it works. So these are basically yeah, these are basically graphs. Petrol for Armenia. European, European Airways. These are like, and I, I gotta check out one of these. Which one? Which one? Uh, we'll check out Petrol for Armenia. We'll see what this is about. The visual investigative scenarios. Not exactly sure what I'm looking at here. But I believe there's a lot of association with the Armenian, um, Armenian patrol and diesel market. Honestly, I cannot exactly make uh, make up what's uh, what's this for. So this is just uh, I'm just showing an example on what they have to show here. So yeah, there's that. OCCRP videos bring our print investigations to life through investigative documentaries animated explainers, expert interviews, and collective video evidence. Our videos have been translated into more than nine languages and show on television stations all over the world, social media, and international film festivals. Okay, so this, uh, this, this is more like a, like an indie, indie news organization. Yeah, and it looks kind of, looks fairly well put together. Every year formation. Why is the UK registering companies for criminals? And there's a lot more. There's like so much here that I don't think I'll be able to cover everything. So, so yeah, if you guys are interested in, in knowing more about what's going on in the world or what or what is their their perspective on on the situation and such, then I guess uh, the OCCRP might be just a news organization for you but again I don't know a whole lot about these guys but you may want to find out you may want to find out more what they're about and rather they're rather they're being honest about their news sources or is this just another another biased news organization we'll just have to look we'll, just, we'll have to find out at a much later time Anyways, looks like I'm just going to stop from here and, of course, move on to one more site. So we'll do that. Electronion. Best deep web electronics store. Brand new electronics for good prices. Hey, looky here. Somebody, somebody is uh, selling electronics here on the deep web. We got Apple and Samsung. There's a good chance that some of these guys behind these websites, they probably had stolen them from the manufacturers or they somehow snuck them through. So we're going to have to do, we're going to have to go with that. But yeah, this is just a site where they're selling uh, smartphones from just these four brands. Of course, they're asking, "What is a Bitcoin?" Come on, for in can of course, of course, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. It's basically digital money. I don't think I need any other explanation for that. It doesn't seem like there's much here, or there's any any more to look into, so. They, they pretty much have that. So, again, if you're gonna look through these websites, 
then you might want to take this as a grain of salt. Well, that being said, we're just going to move on to something else and go from there. Sonic and Tails. This wet. This is the main homepage for the Sonic the Hedgehog fan game, Sonic and Tails. This page is still WIP. Project Sonic and Tails is a fan-made Sonic the Hedgehog game, which focuses on the story of Sonic's adventure on North Island. Oh boy, we found a video game on the deep web, a Sonic game. As seen on some ordinary gamers. Aw oh, dang it. This uh he already he already covered this video before I did. I'm just gonna gonna let this load. I mean since we're on the deep web, it's of course gonna take a while to load. Oh man, of course this is you know it plays just like the old classic games and that sort of thing, so yeah, I mean I I used to play I used to play a lot of, of these kind of games back in the day. But, you know, the fact that it's actually coming from a fan-made uh, site, then yeah, this is kind of an interesting take on... Maybe they have an interesting take on, on games like these. It kind of looks like uh, they took this from, like, games like Sonic CD and whatnot. Let's see what else they have. Of course, they have all these. These are the three main characters, you know, typical Sonic game games have. Okay, I mean, this doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of stages. I mean, Emerald Building Zone. Let's see, that's one. There's Angel Island Zone. The Cyan Coast Zone. Yeah, and uh, Marble Zone on Crack. So we call Twilight Zone. <laughs> well, what kind of name is that? And this last one is the Intro to Mega Man X Final Fever Zone. Okay, now they ju it now it just sounds like they're trying to rip it off from another game. Oh my goodness. I I I'm just not going to I'm not going to spoil this for anyone. I'm just going to check it out and go from and go from there. So I should definitely d uh try out this game. Maybe I'll do a, a simple live stream or whatever. And of course, I guess these are all the all the the credits of the guys that created this uh, fan game. So, so yeah, credit to these guys for working on this game. But that being said, looks like we're done from here. And uh, yeah, let's uh, we're gonna move on to the next site and go from there. Lanchan, Cyberpunk is nunchuck. Pour out the soy cack lurk and read the rules before posting. Oh boy, we got another one of these, uh, chans. <laughs> Somebody decided to make some interesting contraptions here. This news. Updated to PHP 7.2. Okay, that's just what they're using. Huh, <laughs> just a bunch of boards here. Here on B. HS Degeneration Disk Rot Data Rot Drive Failure When we are going to be able to store data forever without having to worry about it, it makes me obnoxious to think none of this stuff is permanent. Yeah, data if you know this is kind of an issue that happens when you store your your information and data on 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 physical media like discs and and or even or even floppy drives so you know back in the day it, it used to be that when you want to transfer information or documents or or even a piece of code you you put them inside these little little disklets called floppies those are back in my because back in my days that's how we used to transfer data from one place to to another so yeah, this is you know that you know that button, the save button on every program you open, like a like a word processing program or or an editor or or you know something similar of that such, and you see an icon that looks something like this. Back in the day, when computers didn't have hard drives on their own, you normally would save your data in in 
disclets like these. And that's how you usually keep your data back in the day. Yeah, the, the, can you believe the disks is, had been around for over 30 years? 30 years of, of physical disks. Where you can hold up to 700 megabytes of data. Which back then is a lot. Yeah, I don't see how what this has anything to do with data. But okay. What is this? Magnetic tapes. Okay, I guess there's a little diagram that they have here. Particles seen from above. Hmm. Protective layers, lubricant. Magnetic layers. So I guess this is what, what a magnetic tape would contain. They come in layers. Particles seen from above. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, other than that, uh, can't seem to say say anything else about this. Aside from, from an interesting read, which I certainly don't have a whole lot. I don't want to take the time to look at everything. Otherwise, this would be a... a long video. That being said, I'm just gonna leave the site and move on to something else. There's there's just so much data or in or information to read. And yeah, th there wasn't really a whole lot lot going on aside from a bunch of broken websites and sites that are really hard to come by. So yeah, in other words, uh that being said, this is LR7 and I'm logging out. Looky here. We came across uh, this, uh, this interesting looking boy here on the deep web from the chans yeah I think the connection had broken